Oh yeah. Yo, what up guys? It's me, Marco, and we have a new toy today. We had the lens last time, and now we have this Mavic Mini. Uh, it's the newest drone from Mavic, of course, or from DJI. It's the newest Mavic, yes. Uh, I did get the uh, Fly More combo, so without further ado, I think we should open this puppy up and see what's in the box. So here we have the box, yes. Okay, so I've already opened it, spoiler alert. So let's just take a peek for you to see. As soon as you open it, you have your box here with all the gadgets. We'll put that to the side for now. Inside this box, you have your blade guards, which we only use when we fly it indoors. And in the bottom, we have our paperwork which is important if you don't know what you're doing. A little adapter to charge. And because we got the Fly More kit, we actually have a bunch of batteries in the bottom. But we don't need this good stuff. This is the real magic. So it's a nice, like, hard, soft box. I don't know, it's great. So let's take a look. We open this. And oh, mamma mia. So let's look at the first thing. Look at this thing. Oh my God. It's so coute. Wow. It's so small. The front uh, propellers fold out and the back propellers will actually fold from the bottom and bazinga, done. <clears throat> your battery will go in the back and your SD card just slides in the back here. Sweet, right? This thing's dope. Now again, because we got the Fly More kit, we have a little bank where we can put uh, your batteries and you can even have a button here you can whoop, and you can see the power of each battery you can also plug in an external uh, USB cable so you can charge your phones and use it as a power bank this is just your little cables that you need to charge your stuff it, it's always with you we of course have the remote controller which unfolds a cool little thing. It took me a while to figure out is if you actually look here are your sticks to control it. Uh, this controller holds your phone at the bottom, super simple to use. And you have a power button to turn it on and you have a return to home button so your drone can come back home. Uh, take a video with this button and here you can take a photo. Pretty sweet. Bing. And in the bottom here you have, because it's the Fly More kit, you have some extra propellers and some little like n tools that you might need if you are repairing the drone in the field. And actually, that's really about it. So the cool thing about this drone, as you can see here, is this 249 gram limit. See, because I live in Vietnam, I don't wanna make the government angry and I don't wanna register a drone in Vietnam because it's very complicated and they don't really take good care of it. It's been very difficult for foreigners to register them. This one counts as a hobbyist device, so I can just fly this as long as I follow their laws without any kind of registration. All right, so let's go fly the drone. <laughs> Yo, so we finally made it to Bumbleflip, Vietnam. Uh, we were gonna go to some abandoned buildings that we heard of in the area, but Actually, as of like three weeks ago, they're not abandoned. So I'm gonna put a link down below. So if you do read about this abandoned place, like 17K outside of Hanoi, it's not abandoned anymore. We did find these cool buildings behind me and a big open field where hopefully nobody will say it's illegal to try to fly this drone. So she's currently setting it up. And uh, yeah, let's try to take this thing off and see how it all goes, so. I flew it first and now she's flying it. It's really scary actually. Like it's an expensive piece of tech to have flying through the air. But uh, at least we found a nice quiet place to fly. Are you having fun yet? No. <laughs> no, so nervous, honey. It is kind of scary. Yeah, it's uh, scary considering like if it goes down in this field, the grass is up to my waist. 
So you always have the return to home button, so you can always just make it come back automatically. She's flying it horizontal, uh, sideways. That why don't you go forward or backwards? Because you can always spin it. Yeah. So I think it's easier that way. And then you can fly like now. If you push it up, you see you're facing us. You see. And so if you push up, it's gonna go back towards us. Oh, uh, okay. Right. And you can always watch the. You can always have the map open here, so you you see you can find us on the map. Actually, the, wow, that's really useful. Look, the map on here. I don't know if you can see that. It'll actually show like the H where your home is, so we can actually find the drone even if it does go missing a bit. Yeah. Like I said, honey, just watch out for cables. That's the biggest thing because oh, the one crappy yeah, part yeah. of this drone is that it uh, it does not have obstacle avoidance, so it'll fly into whatever you tell it to fly into. So yeah, it's definitely a little bit scary. You got to get like comfortable with it. So we'll see. These shots might not be the most amazing, but it kind of shows the countryside of Vietnam, which is pretty cool. I do want to take it up high and see what what happens when we when we actually fly up, but yeah. Also, there's so much construction vehicles passing by, oh my god. And check out that sunset, guys, for real, holy cow. Yeah. This is fun. This is fun, kind of scary though, but still fun. So yeah, enjoy some drone footage for now, right? about that sunset dude Ooh -wee. that was scary I got more comfortable over time but definitely a little bit scary to fly uh, that just as a first-time drone owner I don't think as a Mavic thing I think they're actually pretty easy to fly honey what do you think was it easy to fly yeah, yeah it's pretty easy to fly it's and it's really good the battery life was crazy we brought all three but I don't we did, definitely did not need all three we just needed one like 75% of one battery was fine. I just get used to people stopping to like look at you and like say hello. Uh, otherwise, it's totally great. And uh, yeah, I think it was a good good purchase. But just keep in mind, guys, uh, don't go flying these where you're not supposed to. I think we kind of discussed like if somebody's telling you not to fly, just don't fly yeah, just it. Just don't fly it. You know, get out here to the boonies and nobody's gonna bug you. You know, as long as you're not flying over something important. So yeah, at least in Vietnam, don't fly over government buildings and don't fly over people. That's about it. So that's exactly what we did. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, sorry we didn't get to go to the abandoned place, but hey, we have some abandoned buildings in the back. So that's cool. Uh, honey, what should they do? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, exactly. And uh, check out some other videos or playlists, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.